like adventure. I like romance. I love great jokes. I'm a mobile. I've got my computer. I'll play the piano. And I've got blue hair. Huh? Me, I am the <laughs> Is everything all right in here? Yes, yes Mommy. Mommy. Can't sleep. Ah, we need her. Yeah, I can't sleep either. <laughs> I don't even feel tired. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, I heard that counting sheep makes you get sleepy. Hey, a great idea. I'll try it. Eleven thousand five hundred one, eleven thousand five hundred two, eleven thousand five hundred three. Come it! This isn't working. By the time I'm done counting, I'll be a sheep rancher. Hey, Fozzie, if you really want to get to sleep, don't count sheep. <laughs> count elephants. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, brother! Here goes one. <laughs> the surgeon weirdo has determined that counting elephants can be hazardous to your health. This is silly. There's only one scientific way to fall asleep. First, you've got to recline horizontally. <laughs> yeah, then what? You reduce your breathing rate to eight breaths per minute. Then <sighs> what? Uh, then you're supposed to go to sleep. Oh, you nerd brain. Yeah. Oh, brother. Next idea. We know. We know. <laughs> Thank you. There's only one problem, animal. None of us knows how to read. Me read. You don't know how to read either, animal. Read, 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 I thought you kids were asleep. It's way past your bedtime, you know. We know, Nanny, but we can't sleep. You can't? Uh-uh. We've tried everything. Nanny, read. Nanny, read. Hey, good idea, animal. Yeah. Read us a story, Nanny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Nanny. Well, OK. I'll read you just <laughs> one, and then you can all go to sleep. Hmm. Now let's see. This is a good book. It's called Mother Goose. What? Oh, I don't want to hear Mother Goose, Nanny. I want to hear a story from Tutson and Criminal. <laughs> what do you think, huh? Gee, I don't know if everyone would like Captain Incredible, Gonzo. But I'm sure you'll all like these nursery rhymes. Here's one of my favorites. There was an old woman who lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm spraying air freshener. Living in a shoe is 
was really stinky. <laughs> Gee, Gonzo, living in a shoe is kind of weird. What's so weird about it, huh? Whoops. I forgot to tie my house laces. <laughs> hmm. I guess you're right, Gonzo. It really isn't that weird. Oh, dear. There's so many of you children, I don't know what to do. That's simple. I know what to do. What? This. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Fuzzy. Wow. <laughs> Gee, that always works for me when I don't know what to do. Hey, why don't we take a ride to town and get some ice cream? That's a wonderful idea, Gonzo. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Around. Don't you get the feeling that something's missing? <gasps> Shh, don't say it. Say, who wears all these big shoes anyway? No, Fozzy. Somewhere around here, there's got to be lots of big feet. No! What? There they are. I was wondering what happened to my shoes. Uh, I've been looking for those boots for hours. I think you just discovered what puts Gonzo to sleep. Huh? <laughs> I don't want to hear another nursery rhyme, Nanny. Couldn't you read to us about mountain climbing? Those kinds of stories will keep you up all night, Skeeter. Here's one that should put you to sleep. Oh, okay. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Scooter and Skeeter went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. <sighs> Hurry up, Scooter. We've got to get up the hill and get a pail of water. You call this a hill? Quit complaining. It's just a little bit further. <sighs> this is ridiculous. Why couldn't we have just filled up the pail at the bottom? Because the nursery rhyme says we go up to fetch the pail of water. Okay, fill up the bucket. Okay, if you say so, Skeeter. Oops. Let's go on, Scooter. Huh? What's that for? Just put it on, Scooter. Wait a minute. I just remembered the last part of this nursery rhyme. Oh, you mean the part that goes Scooter fell down and broke his crown? Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> no. Can't you do anything right? You're supposed to fall down and break your crown. Are you nuts? It must be a mile straight down. Just a simple nursery rhyme. All you have to do is fetch a little water, then fall down and break your crown. But oh no, you can't even do that right. Sorry. Oh, oh, that's okay, Scooter. You'll get it right next time. You just have to remember. Well, that didn't take too long. Oh. Good night, kids. Huh? Oh, wait, Nanny. I can't sleep. You can't? Uh-uh. Not till you read me the one about the little piggies. Please, Nanny. Oh, all right, Piggy. This little Piggy went to market. <laughs> and this little Piggy went home. <laughs> and this little Piggy went home. 
went shopping in Beverly Hills. This little piggy's no dope. May I help you, madame? I'm looking for something in, um, green. Oh, no, madame. Blue is your color to match your eyes. Well, uh... Might I suggest a genuine full-length weirdo? What? Ha! A perfect fit! Ew, yuck! No thanks! adventure story, please. But I've told you an adventure story every night this week, Kermit. I'm all out. Let's see. How about one more short nursery rhyme? Oh. Well, okay. <sighs> Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. I don't feel much like Indiana Frog. Oh. Hey, somebody lend me a hand, will you? Oh, what are you doing up on this wall, Kermit Dumpty? You might crack my favorite green egg-shaped body. Well, it wasn't my idea, Piggy Dumpty. I wanted Nanny to tell me an adventure story, and instead she... Hurry, Skeeter Dumpty. We've got to get off this wall. What? Nanny's going to read the next line of the nursery rhyme any second. So, what's the matter with that? Are you kidding? Don't you know what comes after Kermit Dumpty sat on a wall? Well, um... I know. It's Kermit Dumpty had a great... <laughs> no! Don't you dare say that line, Fozzie. You know what will happen to my poor Kermit Dumpty. Poor Kermit Dumpty? Hey, what is the next line of the rhyme anyway? Animal, now look what you've done. You woke me up. Now I'll never get back to sleep. Sorry. All the king's weirdos and all the king's men couldn't get us back to sleep ever again. Oh, boy. Thanks, Nanny. I guess you'll just have to read to us some more, huh, Nanny? <sighs> Something tells me I should never have started this. What did you say, Nanny? Oh, nothing, Fozzy. Let's see. How about this one? What are little girls made of? <laughs> I don't know about little girls, but I know what little piggies are made of. <sighs> little piggies are made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Oh, that's sweet, Gonzo. And I know what little weirdos are made of. You do? Tell me. Mm-hmm. Little weirdos are made of blue and goo and grasshopper stew. Ew. Lucky. Ew. What's the matter? Sounded pretty close to me. Tell us a rhyme about the Rock and Roll Dog Patrol, Nanny. Gee, I really don't know one about the Rock and Roll Dog Patrol, Rolf. 
But I will read you one more nursery rhyme, okay? Okay, Nanny. Little Boy Blue, come blow your horn. Hey, that sounds like Gonzo. Hey, up, bud. I hear you're looking for a trumpet player. Maybe. What's your name? Little Boy Blue. I've come to blow my horn. Well, hey, that's cool. Uh, could you guys use a guitar player? Sure. What's your name, dude? My name's Little Frog Green. I play real mean. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Little Bear Brown. I like to fiddle around. <laughs> And Jill could change their name to Jennifer and Jake. Jake. Instead of climbing up a hill, they go jump in the lake. Yay. They ditch a pail of lemonade, and this is what they do. Do they share it with the children of the lady in the shoe? Sing a silly song, a fairy's just to pass the time. Do pass the time. Tell a silly story, make a nursery rhyme. A nursery rhyme. Humpty Dumpty wore a rubber suit around his shoe. Welcome, Rolf. <sighs> Nanny Goose! Nanny Goose! Oh, animal! No! Shh! Story! Story! What? Animal? Yippee, skippy! Oh, please! Just go to sleep now, piggy. Story! 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 Animal, story. that's enough! Okay, Nanny. Night, night. Good night, Nanny. Oh, now I'm awake again. Me too. I'll never get back to sleep. Oh, I don't believe this. Don't you kids ever fall asleep at the same time? Well, no. No way. Never, Nanny. Okay. Oh, one last nursery rhyme. Then you must go to sleep, okay? <laughs> no deal. No nursery rhyme. Okay. One more. Then we'll go to sleep. We promise. Okay, Nanny, you win. That's better. Here's a good one. It's called Little Miss Muffet. Little Miss Muffet. That's more. Piggy, can we get on with this? Oh, uh, sorry, Nanny. That's okay. <clears throat> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet. A tuffet? What's a tuffet? Piggy. Well, how am I supposed to imagine a tuffet if I don't know what one is? Hey, Little Miss Skeeter, do you know what a tuffet is? A tuffet? Uh, I think it's kind of a turtle, sort of. I'm supposed to sit on a turtle? Oh, well. Are 
Are you two ready? Yes, Nanny. I'll start again. Okay. Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Eating what? Curds. They're kind of like, like nerds. No, not curds and whey, birds and hay. You're supposed to eat birds and hay. If you think I'm going to eat that, Fozzie, you're crazy. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Oh, this nursery rhyme is really ridiculous. Oh, there's nothing wrong with a rhyme, Piggy. It's just that you, oh, you don't know the meaning of the words, that's all. Once you know the meaning of the words, you'll be able to understand what the rhyme is about. Let's see. Tuffet. Oh, Tuffet. Mmm, here it is. A Tuffet is just a bunch of grass. Really? What about nerds and clay, Nanny? That's curds and whey, Fozzie. Oh, I knew that. Curds are the thick part of milk that separates from the watery part when you make cheese. Ooh, gross. <gasps> the watery part is the way. Oh, now I get it. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Ew, this stuff is yucky. Hi, Piggy. Nice tuffet you got here. Who sat down too near so Miss Muffet she bid him good day? Ah, uh, and a good day to you too, my sweet. Nobody sits on my tuffet, you curd nerd. What? Oh no! Now you woke us all up again, Gonzo. <sighs> Looks like Nanny will have to read us another nursery. Huh? Nanny? She's asleep. She? How will we get to sleep if Nanny can't read to us? Easy! I'll read us some other weirdo stories. You can't read, Gonzo. Oh, yeah? Here's a good one. Peter Piper picked a pick of pickled pepperonis. The pick of pickled pepperonis. Peter Piper picked one pickled in Pittsburgh. There's Peter, Paul, and Paco who played more pleasant than planted plenty of plums in the pit of the pit of the pit of the pit Whoa! That's what I call a real tongue twister. <laughs> Join in the fun with the Muppet Babies again next Saturday morning at 6. And stay tuned for Theodore Tugboat and the Marvelous Madeline next on the Disney Channel. Just got to sleep. You'll wake them all up again if you say. 